Hey beautiful people, hope you guys are doing well today. So my name is Milton Fonkwa, I'm a Cameroonian researcher, I'm also an international student and I currently live in the Netherlands, I study here. So today I have seen a lot of things online and so many people seem not to know that immigration is changing. Even from my fellow creators, they are still not giving international students a real update. Now, like I said, if you check my channel, you will see that I do more of research. So I will always bring the right material here. Please, I want you to share this video so that somebody else can see it. If you are planning to study in Finland and you know somebody who is equally planning to study in Finland. Now, please, this is the entire process. I'm going to tell you why you should not study in Finland, why you should study in Finland the requirements, the application process, and everything in this particular video is going to be detailed. So please, I expect you to watch till the end so you don't ask questions that I've mentioned in the video and in previous videos. It is very essential. Now, remember, application to study in Finland is going to start January 8th, and the deadline is January 22. Now, this particular application is called a joint application. Is that the only application you can do to study in Finland in 2025? No. I am going to break it down. First, let's take a look at why you should not study in Finland. Finland is very expensive. If you don't have money, stop looking at Finland. Chase other European countries. Remember I said this is going to be a very long video. So please, I was studying and I saw something and it's important to educate those who don't know. If you need a call with me, you know what to do. Book from the video description box. Thank you so much. I'm so busy. But again, this is the only way I can communicate with everybody. Now, if you intend to move to Finland, like I said, have money. If you do not have the required amount Finland is asking you to show them or to give them, then please do not go to Finland. Now, also understand that if you move abroad, not only Finland, it might take you maybe one year or even eight months to get your first job. So don't rely solely on part-time jobs to raise your tuition fee because, again, tuition is very expensive. Now, if you are broke, please just avoid Finland. Okay, I am still coming. Now, the reason is because tuition is very high and tuition can go up to from like 8,000 euros to 20,000 euros. Remember, this video is based on my research and my updates, my opinions. You are also liable to do your own research to know up-to-date materials or information that will help you to jackpot. Okay, I am here to help because I know many people are looking up to me. So, this is why you shouldn't move to Finland. On the other part, this is why you should move to Finland. If you have the money, go to Finland. Yes, you can quote me anywhere. Go to Finland if you have the money. Secondly, it is the easiest country, one of the easiest, with the easiest residence permit process if you do the right things. The right things here include documentation. Now, also understand that it is easy to settle in Finland and in most countries if you have the resources. Now, PR in Finland, like permanent residency, right? And citizenship can take you like five years to get. This is not clickbait. Though there are some rules or laws that are maybe to put coming up, but it is not yet in the system. So if you are looking for a place where maybe you want to chase your passport, you are thinking about your future kids, Finland is a place to consider. Now also understand that. And remember, you also need language in order to get this done. I mean the residence permit and the citizenship. So put this into consideration. Also, remember as a student, you are going to work 30 hours a week. But can you raise the 8,000 euros for tuition? Put a question mark on that. It might not be possible. So don't rely only on that. I always tell students that when moving abroad through the academic pathway, you should just prepare your mind. that You have your tuition for the first two semesters if you haven't paid before moving. I have always said this about Sweden and I'm saying it for Finland and the Netherlands as well. These are the reasons why you should move and why you shouldn't move. Now, let's go back 
to general information that you need to know. If you're, like I said, admissions is starting like application for those, or if you intend to study, to start your lectures next year, September, August, September, October, please. I see many people saying, oh, Milton, I want to apply to Valmia. I want to apply to Rivera. Remember, these schools, these two schools might not take more than 3,000 students. How many do I have here? I have over 50,000 people following here. How many other people from all over the world? So do not rely on these free schools. This is my advice for you. You, you also need to open your scope and apply to scholarships, okay? Yeah, I don't sugarcoat anything. I give you facts. Some people will not tell you because maybe they are looking. I don't look at all those things. I give you facts. Now, understand that you can study in Finland. Like if you want to do BSc, you can study in English, MSc in English. And again, there is an entrance exam involved. But I'm going to explain all those things to you. Entrance exam is mostly for those who are going for BSc, MSc at Applied Science Universities. If you are applying to normal universities like the University of Helsinki, uh, Eastern Finland, all those state universities, but remember they are very expensive, you may not need entrance exam. Put this into consideration. Now, also understand that Duolingo is part of the requirements. Anyways, I'm going to talk about this very soon. Where are you going to do the application? Application starts on the 8th of January and the last day is 22nd of January. Have you seen the interval? They will not consider, if they say applications ends at 3 p.m. on the 22nd of January, they will not say your application came 4 p.m. No. You have the time now. So gather all your requirements and put them into consideration. While looking at the school website, looking at what you need to do, it is very important to stay up to date. This is your jackpot dream. You are looking to achieve it. So Pay attention. This should be your most focused period, not Christmas or any other thing. Now, you should also remember that if you want to apply, the website, I'm going to put a link below. Make sure you listen to me before you click that link. It is the joint application that is starting from January 8th to January 22nd. Other applications like separate applications will still take place. But you have to understand it's so expensive to study in Finland. Now. This application is free, the joint application. Finland has introduced tuition fee in some, some schools are asking for application fee, right? Application fee. Others are not asking, but this particular joint application is still free for now. Maybe otherwise stated, but for now it is free, which means you can apply for up to like three, four, or even five different programs for free. But again, there are things you need to know with applied science universities that are different from normal universities. Now, also understand that some schools might have application fee, like I explained, others may not. But the most important thing you should be asking yourself shouldn't be application fee. You should ask yourself, this program I want to apply to, can I fund the program in Applied Science University or I can fund for normal universities? Ask yourself and see if you have the money to proceed with all of these things. Now, I have given you general information. Let me give you the requirements you need to study in Finland. One, language requirement. This is something I always say and people don't take it seriously. Look, guys, right now I have people who are writing their IELTS exam. Is it because they don't like the money they are registering for IELTS? No, because they have put their jackpa first before any other thing. So get registered. You need IT, you need TOEFL, you need Duolingo, you need PTE, you need the SAT exam. Let me break it down. If you are using IT, you need 6.0 to study in Finland. If you are using TOEFL, you need 78 to study in Finland. If you are using Duolingo, you need a score of 78 to study in Finland. If you are using PTE, you need 74 to study in Finland. And if you are using the SAT exam, you need 1,200 on 1.6 1, because that's the maximum to study in Finland. Then for those who are using SAT exam, I think you don't need entrance exam. Like if you apply during the entrance exam period, you may be exempted because you submitted SAT. Read more about this. Like I said, this is my personal research. Now, understand that after you apply, there is an entrance exam you have to take. This entrance exam will take place online. 
and after that there should be another one called a group interview now you need to ask yourself do i have the requirements most of you i know you don't have a laptop to use it but sometimes this entrance exam or let me say some verifications may not work with your phone so you need to also start thinking about all these things it's so important to put these things into consideration now what do you need as requirements again you need your secondary school certificate your WAEC, your wasi your neko neko may not be accepted but if you have the two submit them gco levels and a levels is also uh, requirements for Cameroonians who want to apply for bachelors then if you are going for masters you also need to submit your bsc and the transcript now you may be asking milton i don't have my original transcript um, what do i do in this case i think you need a student copy but remember before visa application you should have all original documents stand by so in case they are asking you which is your original which is not the original you show the two then you proceed to visa application but sometimes because of course you need to upload these documents on the embassy's website so that's why it's important to always have all your original documents with you okay then also remember tuition fee in finland like i said before will go up to like eight thousand right now it's so expensive eight thousand euros to like twenty thousand euros this is the same scenario in the netherlands that's why i said if you don't have money avoid finland go for what you can afford then now this tuition fee is it that there are no scholarships no there are scholarships in finland also understand that scholarships range from 25 percent 30 percent maybe 75 percent 100 percent it's possible to get 100 percent in finland but remember if you are applying to applied science universities you can not get 100 percent if you are applying for bachelors you cannot get 100 percent but if you apply to normal universities like University of Eastern Finland, Tampere, Helsinki, you can get 100%. But Applied Science University will give you 25% or 30%. Some, they will give you when you pay tuition on time. Some, they will give you when you move to Finland. Some, they will give you when you pass your exams and score particular ECTS credits. Then others, they have other modes. But remember, I said it's possible to get 75% and 100% in normal universities. So you have to make this comparison. Do your research now before it's time for you to apply. You strike immediately and drop your application. It's so important. Now, we have talked about the scholarship part. And like I said, normal universities are research institutions. Then you can do master's and PhD. So you need to put this into consideration. That's where you can get uh, these scholarships these fully funded scholarships then we have talked about everything what happens then are you just applying to finland because you want to apply or you are maybe targeting um, a visa of course to go to finland you don't need a visa not so many people don't know if you are new you don't need a visa please share this video so that somebody can see it i there is something i want to say and i want many of you to see because i've seen Two of my colleagues, when I say colleagues, I mean people pouring out materials like this to also help you. They are still not understanding what is happening. Maybe they have not done research, but again, I will always, that's why I always tell you that if you watch my video or another video, do your own research. All these things, you cannot get them from Facebook or from here. Some of us, we bring materials which are good. Some, I don't know. Now, this is the part. Residence permit application what do you need to apply for residence permit remember for finland you are not getting visa you are getting residence permit what do you need you need an offer letter to apply for residence permit right yes residence permit is like your proof that you want to go study um offer letter is like your proof if you don't show it it's the same thing that most of you are always asking me i will tell you that if you are anybody is saying that you should go to finland via work visa you should ask the person first where is my employment contract and again many of you don't know what is happening on the ground with this employment thing some people just say oh work visa work visa where is the job offer avoid it from africa i've said it many times now offer letter no, document number one for residence permit application Note that there is no entrance for MSc in research universities. Entrance exam, there is no. 
do your due diligence and you are going to find out. Then when you get the offer letter to apply, you also need that their academic documents. Those academic documents you use to apply to the school to submit alongside. Sometimes those of you moving with family, you need to legalize your marriage certificate until the level of the embassy. Then you can now submit your marriage certificate. Also understand that if you are applying to research universities, the procedure might be a little complicated, but it's not. Now, there is no entrance. And I said, after you finish studies in Finland, you are going to get two years or three years post-graduation. In the Netherlands, it's one year. In Denmark, it's three years. In Canada, it's two, one year or two years or three years. Has Canada changed the system? I'm not very certain. I will check again from IRCC. Now, this is the update. Remember, you already applied to a school. And now, you are telling the Finnish government that you need a, a residence permit, a permit to move to Finland. Now, the question will be, the government will be asking you, do you have money? Remember the first money you paid. Of course, if your tuition is 8,000 euros and you don't have a scholarship and you apply to Finland, they don't give you a scholarship and you have to apply for visa, you need to pay that 8,000 euros first to the school before you come now, before you get a right, like they will give you now a chance to apply for residence permit. And applying for this residence permit, you still need to tell the Finnish government that you have money in your bank account to take care of your housing, your food, your transport while you are in Finland. That one is called cost of living money. How much is this money? This is where I see many people don't know. The money has changed. It's not 6,720 euros anymore. The money now is 9,600. Now, which means that you need 800 euros every month for your living expenses. If you multiply 800 times 12, you are going to get 9,000. 600 you need this money in your bank account there are other ways to prove this but again do your due diligence please it is not 6720 don't go and give something else to the embassy that's why i always say do your due diligence the money has changed i'm emphasizing on this because i, I know what is going to happen to most people thank you so much like i said if you need to talk to someone one-on-one -on -one, check the description box book a call from there if you have a question drop it on the comment section i will be back i'm so busy but again i will create time to be here for us all i hope this video helps you